What'd you do now, Brent? Uh, nothing major. Um, well, when we were setting up, we had lots of time. There was no rush. Uh, one thing I did find out when I got up this morning, I came out just to check the hoses, and I found something. Uh, trucker's side and there's a vehicle passenger vehicle side I never thought too much about it but it turns out that the trucker side is usually for the diesel five cents per liter that's roughly 20 cents per gallon higher on the trucker side so this time there's a there's a petrocad station that I usually stop at in uh, Kamloops and I always go to the trucker side and you don't get the discounts for um, certain cards that I may use like uh, I've got my Petrocan Petro card tied to my debit card it doesn't give you a discount on it you're paying the five cents a, a liter higher anyways so there's no discounts today on this trip I went to the passenger vehicle side well, with the trailer hooked up, so, but it was large enough that there's plenty of room to drive through. It's high enough, wide enough, so there was no issues with that. So, I got my discount, and I saved basically, compared to what I'd normally pay there, I saved eight cents a liter. And over the miles, it's gonna make a big difference. So, I thought I'd point that out, uh, whether you're using USA Gasoline, Petro Canada, Shell, Texaco, whatever. If you're going to a truck stop, the trucker side is usually a little bit higher priced, I have found. Bye for now. It's kind of sad that they gouge the commercial vehicles though, right? Yeah. Oh well. They're trying to make a living too. This campground has 50 amp sites, only two, and they have uh, 30, a bunch of 30 amp sites, I'll check on the numbers on those. And the rest are just standard sites. They seem to have a lot of these double sites, so if you were camping or traveling with a friend, you could definitely do that. So there's a double site, quite big, and there are no services back there. They have a lot of these, and then I'm just gonna show you up here can camp right along the, the river there's no services it's basically tenting uh, and maybe a small rig the road goes all the way along here and then into the back there Let's zoom in and under the trees there's like three it's like a more like a group campsite setting and then all the way along here you can drive down this road all the way down here, there are tenting sites along the river, all the way down. And I think it goes up to like 112 sites, which there, those ones are down there. I think 112, 113, something like that. We're going to go back down this little dike and head back to the truck. There's a nice little playground here. Everybody's eating grass over there. Little slide, little climbing structure. Oh, it's got two sides. Just intended for preschoolers, not uh, bigger children. And then it's got like a little barbecue pit over here in the trees. So you could have a sheltered barbecue over there if it's miserable and raining. We kind of got lucky. It rained the first day we got here. And then yesterday we ran a bunch of errands. 
which include picking up firewood for our next leg of our trip. Oh, I gotta take care of some other business. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's, it's, we are really lucked out on the weather. Yay! <laughs> What'd you do now, Brent? Uh, nothing major. Um, well, when we were setting up, we had lots of time. There was no rush. Uh, one thing I did find out when I got up this morning, I came out just to check the hoses, and I found something. It was raining pretty good yesterday. Yeah, well, not when we got here, but... Anyways. <laughs> this is what I found. I got the water spigot here. I found this beside it. Which is your... This is my water pressure regulator. And a splitter for a couple of my lines. I tested the water lines to make sure the pressure was okay. And ended up dropping it and forgetting about it. Uh, this could be an expensive loss if somebody decided to pick it up. Uh, that's roughly anywhere from 80 to $100 Canadian. Out the window if there were thieves in the area. Luckily there were not. So that's where it sat beside the spigot all night. And how was the water pressure, Brent? Water pressure in this place, very low. I think it was around 23 PSI. So low that we decided to fill the tank and use our pump because we were getting more water out of the tap. That is correct. Uh, I filled the tanks and we're using our pump instead of city water so we could actually get shower when we were in Barkerville we had to fill up our our water tank our fresh water tank because there was not a spigot at each site so we couldn't use city water so we filled up the tank and we were there for three nights and the morning that we left when I was showering the water was just trickling out so as we go into Deer Lake, we're having to rethink how we are using our water because there's no water there for us to acquire. So, <laughs> what are we doing? What is one of the things we're doing, Brent? To well, this time around, we're filling the water tank and I've heard quite a few people that uh, are driving, they fill the water tank and they're driving to a campsite. They get there, it's a half full, third full, three quarters full, whatever because the overflow turns into a siphon and starts pouring out all of your fresh water that you've tried to save. <laughs> Sorry about that. What I've got, I've got my uh, PEX connectors and I'm going to put a connector on that shuts off the drain for the fresh water overflow. And once we fill up that, it shouldn't be leaking at all while we're driving. Because we're going on a bit of a back yeah, road. We're, we're doing a, a four night overstay. Or a four. We're doing a four night stay in a place where there is no water. We're just packing up to leave the uh, Coquihalla RV park. And then we're heading on into the bush. We've got a beautiful day. Clear skies. It's supposed to get quite warm today. We might even have to put shorts on. Woohoo! Okay, Wrigley, let's go. Feeling this? No, it isn't. Okay, uh, we're just pulling out of the uh, Coquihalla RV park and we are on our way to Deer Lake where we have no services. Ah, kind of scary. <laughs> Thank you. 